Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer and SRE. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the Docker SMO and I have created a repository for you guys. So this is the repository I've set up for you guys. In the past, I've already made uh, videos regarding the mounting of S3 bucket in the Docker container. But uh, in those, uh, some of the stuff uh, is manual. But in this, uh, Demo, I'm going to show you all the automated stuff. We are going to use the supervisor and the uh, stuff related to S the uh, official AWS uh, S3 FS views. Um, all the commands which I've used in this deployment are actually taken from this uh, official um, GitHub repo. And I've also Add the link here as well. So anyway, um, you know, to be on the safe side, what you need to do is simply create a policy for that particular user and give the URN of S3 bucket. And let me show you that how we can do that from the scratch. So uh, previously I tested all the stuff, but I'm going to create a new bucket. I'm going to call this uh, Cloud Geek CA bucket. Okay, uh, let's see if it is available. Okay, let's enable the version just for testing. Let's see if it is available or not. So, bucket is available. We have created this bucket now. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to update the I'm permission of the user. I've created a user with the name Muhammad Taha and I give this uh, user permission to access this S3 bucket. So if you click this uh, policy, I'm going to type cloud gigs and this is the policy. Now what I need to do, um, although I've provided um, access keys and secret access keys to Muhammad Taha, but I need to update the policy as well because we have updated the bucket. So I'm going to simply call this Cloud Geek CA and I'm going to update this to Cloud Geek CA and the credentials are going to work as normal. So uh, this is this part is done, right? So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use Play with Docker and I'm going to add one instance here. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to SSH into this machine. So I've already spin up my container uh, with the name Asim. I'm going to paste this guy here, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to um, loan this repository into this machine. So if you navigate to this repository, uh, simply click this guy, click HTTPS, although it is a public repository. So simply you need to um, use this command, git clone, and simply clone this repository. If you do the, if you do LS, it is going to be this particular repository and what uh, you should need to do um, if you do ls a you will see the hidden file um, you simply need to update this file right so this is the environment available file with your access keys and secret access key so i'm going to call this uh, cloud geek uh, ca and i need to update uh, the credential which I've provided to that particular user. So it is going to be really safe that uh, only that particular user has the permission to do all the stuff uh, regarding the accessibility and deletion of that. So I'm going to simply copy this guy here or just wanna copy this and I'm going to uh, simply put this guy here and I'm going to also upgrade this uh, other secret access key and that's all you need to do right so I'm telling you all the stuff from the scratch uh, I will try to make sure this video is uh, as short as possible and I'm going to also show you the use case how you can use this mounted container so it is not just a video regarding the mounting of container and you can uh, use in your production and your dev environment as a developer or DevOps engineer, you can do a lot of stuff, right?
So um, I did a command here. So what we need to do is simply um, copy this command here, right? So copy this and do this docker compose up hyphen detach build. So it will take a little time. Till then, I'm going to show you the Docker file. Uh, we will be using the Python uh, Python slim image and uh, all the stuff I'm going to show you. We are going to use super uh, supervisor. <coughs> Excuse me. And let me uh, tell you all the stuff from this guy. So this is our repository. Uh, this is the Docker file. We will be using the Python uh, slim image and these are some of the label. This is the working directory which is going to be um, home of the user and the user is going to be as so which means our working directory is going is going to be home as uh, s3 so these are the permission i gave to that and all the sub which i already uh, have spoken about regarding the stfs views um, um, commands taken from that uh, official github repository so um other than that, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to copy this mount.shell into this container. And uh, let me show you that what is in that. So uh, these are the environment variable uh, which we have provided here. See, um, we have updated this file, so you won't have to do anything. Simply update these uh, the part, bucket name, access key, and secret access key, that's it. And um, other than that, um, what um these are the commands which are required to do the mounting right and and we are going to use uh, the secure user as the user which is going to be really safe and only this user has the permission right so um along with that we are going to use the supervisor d uh, this uh, process is going to mount the s3 bucket for us and it's going to run this uh mount or shell in the container so let me show you that part as well so this is the supervisor conf uh, this is the one and this is the command which we are going to use to source this uh, script which is the mount or shell in that particular area and uh, let me show you uh, the docker compose stuff and last and we are going to use this stfs as a service we are going to build um, this docker file as we are building here now so it seems like everything is done so if i do docker ps you will see one container up uh, up and running and i am try to docker logs right so uh this process has started right so if everything goes well we should be able to see uh, our container mounted so docker is that objective shell Let me show you that running on Docker exec and drag the shell into this uh, container, right? So if I do ls, uh, you see our bucket is now uh, available. And if I do this, we have an HD. You should be able to see uh, your uh, mounted stuff, but uh, it is not available because. Uh, seems like we gave the wrong name um, so it should be should be this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply get this file which is the dot env right so it should be cloud key uh, dot key. let me update this and, and this is the bucket we have created right so it should be this one so i show you the way how to check it, whether your bucket is mounted or not right so i saw that my bucket is not mounted so i'm going to say again build it it's going to recreate the container and if i do docker yes i can a right and if i do docker logs Okay, and, and if I do the exec, let's see. And if I do this free as an HD, 
see you see uh, this is the space i've got i uh, uh, uh they have provided me this is a space i have and in uh, it is in a home as the cloud right so what i'm going to do um, i'm going to cd to s3 our bucket is mounted here right and i'm going to make the async so let me show you first of all this bucket is totally empty right so I'm going to create one directory here, right? If I do ls and I do simply refresh it. Asim is now available here, right? So this is the mountain, but what is the use case? So what I've done here, let me uh, exit out of this container. And if I uh, navigate to home, if I do ls, um, this is the mounting stuff I've talked about. And this S3 is mounted to slash MNT. So I have mounted in a slash m because if you do in the regular way of mounting, it's not going to work. So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how you can manage this uh, bucket via Docker container. For instance, I'm going to create my file, make, direct, make directory um, my work. So you can copy all the stuff in your local file system, whether it is Windows or whatever. So right. So my work is mounted inside um, slash mnt and we are going to create uh, one file here like uh, any file uh, let's say test so test file is created here so what i'm going to do i'm going to do exactly into this container right so if i do ls into slash mnt my work is there along with the stuff which we have created so and I'm going to simply move uh, myself uh, into this um, bucket, uh, Cloud Geeks, which is the actual S3. So I'm going to simply copy my work here. And um, I can also do the management regarding the management of my S3 bucket and uh, whatever I want to. So that means. You see, I'm not using S3 or AWS CLA command, P6 CLA command regarding Linux. So my work is there. So let's try to refresh. You see, my work is now available here and we have created the test file here. So um, I can do the management. For instance, I just don't want this awesome directory and I'm going to remove this awesome directory from this container and this part is done. So um, that is it guys um, if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and this is how we can do the mounting in docker containers and uh, securely do our management of uh, s3 bucket and we can do uh, mount many buckets like you know in the different main uh, names uh, of containers so uh, you can give uh, any name to this image if i do docker uh, images you will be able to see um docker image is created with this name so that's it uh, guys if you like the video like share and subscribe thank you have a nice day